Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla Server. We're back here at the Gold Farm. We've got some more updates to do because we're now in 1.11. We've had some changes, so let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Minecraft 1.11.2. You can see that up in the top left corner. We've also got Optifine 1.11.2, and that's, so that's already installed, which is pretty good. But we're here in 1.11.2, and we're at, back at the gold farm because we've got a little bit of a problem. And that problem is that... In 1.11, Mo Yang fixed the translocation bug, the piston translocation bug. It was kind of expected. It was added in in 1.9. They didn't manage to fix it in 1.10, but it is now fixed. And so that means that our gold farm is yet again in a spot of trouble. Because what happens is that we've got this thing over here, right there. You see that slime block? That launches items and XP over into this area. And you're not going to see any XP because we're not generating any right now. Because that would mean that we've got Pikmin spawning. And I don't want them spawning and causing trouble for me. But the items go into an item elevator right here in the middle. And then all the XP drops down over here. And this piston used to pull all of the XP into this uh, what is it the XP elevator and that no longer works so we've got to do a little bit of uh, we've got to do a little bit of maintenance over here and the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to shut this thing off so that's going to leave that timer in that position I'm going to show you another little bug that we've encountered over here and that is the the bug of item duplication so I've checked we I went back to a previous world download and I saw what TO had put in here and we had a stack and 16 notice that we've got more than a stack and 16 yeah we have managed to go above and beyond that uh, really we don't even need a stack and 16 just one stack should be fine but we do have item duplication occurring and we don't need that so I've turned that off so that we don't get any uh, any problems or, or we don't have the noise going while I am trying to work on this thing so uh, it's the the updates here what we've got to do is we need to make a new item elevator we're going to do an item elevator that uses the new observer block and we need to put that in roughly uh, let's see roughly in line with this right here okay so we're going to move the item elevator from the middle here to over here and uh, then let's, let's see what else we need to make sure that all the items go into that elevator the XP it gets shot over into the this XP elevator and that our timings do not change at all for the XP elevator so we've got our work cut out for us and the first thing that we need to do is tear out everything that is no longer working down here so let me take care of that real quick all right so we've got this entire area except for what we want to keep so this XP elevator is staying but everything else pretty much gotten rid of uh, what we are going to do is put a hopper right there okay so what's going to happen is that the items are going to drop onto that slab right there and because it is a lower half slab the hopper should pick up what we need it to pick up right like so so at this point what we then need to do is just drop in our ice stream okay so the XP is going to kind of go along there and then what we need to do is make sure that we've got got a little bit 
of a yeah okay so we still need we still need that block in place right there and then what we're gonna do is push out that block and what I need is I need a little bit of a platform where it like so because I want uh, let's see I need no I need a sticky piston right here let's see if that is what we what we end up needing okay we'll grab that because I don't like losing anything we're going to grab that piece of dirt and then we'll come in here and it should have a sticky piston yes we got a couple and that should go right there okay yes that's looking correct if even if we've got kind of a you know set of holes over here to uh, to plug up okay so that should be good and we'll just cover all that in all right so we've got our sticky piston right like that and then this particular thing what we'll do is the hopper needs to be pointing that way okay um that's interesting because it means that we hmm <laughs> it's not quite oh i see i see so what i'm having to do is take a look at some screenshots i've done it took me a little bit to figure out this whole uh, this whole fix for for our problem here and I did it a while ago and finally getting around to having some time to um, let's see to to fix this okay we don't need hoppers yet let's get our our mechanism for um, shooting the XP across We'll get that done forthwith. Okay, and that, is that correct? That looks correct. And then back behind here, go something like that. And then what we do is we get a redstone torch and that grabs that piece of redstone and we'll take that out, okay. Bob's your uncle. So what we need to do is whenever this timer goes over to here, we'll grab that signal and turn it into a pulse. We're going to keep that pulse the same length that it already is. And what we need to do is simultaneously, uh, well, let's see, we need to retract that piston down there while extending this piston right here. And so that means that we need to bring down our signal just a little bit. And I think it's just a direct line, if I'm not mistaken. So do we have some slabs? We should have some slabs right there. And that's just so I have a little bit of a purchase area. Okay, and then We'll take out that slab right there and we'll drop down here and slab, slab. Okay, so what we're doing right there is off of our pulse creator right here. You notice, um, so we'll get this signal out of our timer. This is a hopper clock here. Turn that into a four length, or well, we delay it for four ticks send it into this solid block right here and that's going to go up into a repeater up top here we'll take care of that in just a moment but we're also going to send it down here that should uh, turn off the redstone torch which will retract that sticky piston which will then retract the sticky piston that has the ice on top of it and that gives us an easy way to send the XP through then what we need to do is take our redstone repeater we're gonna set that right here on two ticks now 
Let's see if this actually works. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. Okay, well, it did a little bit. Yeah, it shot a gold nugget out and about. So I think, I think we're pretty good there. We can turn this timer back off and we'll see once we get some XP flowing through there if we are in fact doing what we need to do. Okay, so all of that notwithstanding, probably need to think about covering in this area so that we don't get items just shooting out willy-nilly. And then uh, next order of business, we've got, okay, the hopper is coming out right there. Okay, and then what we want to do is work on a new item elevator. And what we're going to do with that is use the new um, observer block, which is available in, was it 1.10? I, you know, honestly, I can't remember whether it was 1.10 or 1.11. We're going to need two of these. Let's do that. And I think I have the recipe correct like so. Yes, there we go. Observer, we need two of them. Excellent. All right, so our first order of business down here, we need to put our dropper facing up. Okay, good, 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 good. And we'll take out that dirt. And then we'll carry our hopper line over like so. So now we've got a couple of items in there. Awesome. And then what we do is we'll grab a little bit of dirt there and we should, uh, let's see, we have to make sure that we get those, those observers pointing in the correct direction. And so this is going to be new to me. Okay. That's not quite what I wanted. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. We might have to push it into place. Let's see what that does. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of pigment falling down there. Okay. That's not the direction that I want the observer pointing in. So, this is annoying. So we'll get rid of that dropper there. Did I pick it up? It doesn't matter, I had extras. And what we'll do is we'll take a piston and put it right like so. And what in the world? Did you, did you just hear that? Is that music from here? I don't think I have anything else running. Hmm, that was a really weird noise. Do we have any other sounds going? Music is off. Hmm, that was really strange. So let's grab that and that. And we'll get our piston again. And we'll come back up here and rinse and repeat. And we'll go like this. We need an observer right here. And we need our dropper, like so. Okay, now that will get annoying rather quickly. So what we really should do, just for the time being, that'll, that'll make it shut up. Okay, so we'll come over here, we'll grab some, is that polished in the site? Yeah, I guess so. So I'm using the B00 texture pack and he has changed things up ever so slightly. Let's come down here and grab that okay and we'll take that out we're going to take a signal using a comparator out of that dropper and so if there are any items in it we'll get a redstone signal we're going to send that down to that block right there and then we'll use a sticky piston to grab the bottom uh, bottom observer block 
let's just take care of that. We'll put a little spot of redstone dust right like that. Then we'll go upstairs once again to put our comparator on uh, up against our dropper. Okay, and we can we'll grab that and then comparator. All right. So at this point, excellent. All right. So that is working. So now what we need to do is take a tower of glass and move that all the way up to that hopper line up there. So that's going to take me a little bit. So let me go uh, Let me take care of that and I'll bring you back once we're doing some more testing. Well, I've got that glass tower in place. This item elevator is a lot simpler than ones before. And I'm trying something out. I forgot to bring carpet, which is supposed to help reduce mob spawns. And uh, that means that I left a hopper open up there. Well, I put a slab on top of it. We'll see if that messes up our item elevator right quick. But let's just throw that in place there and then what we do is I need to go up you see that redstone block right there that should uh, it's right next to a hopper that uh, it should be blocking anything from coming through so let me go check that and see if um, if our item elevator is in fact working and we'll just go from there back in a bit all right, here we are. Let's take a look. There we go. Okay, so items are getting into the system. This is a good thing. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Is that stone brick or was that? Yeah, that was stone brick. So we'll put that there. Maybe we can put the rotten flesh and the gold nugget back. Okay, so I think... I think we may be ready for a test, but let me go back, uh, back down here before I anger any pigmen. Just come back down here, and I've left some spawnable area, so I don't want any surprises for myself or anyone else. So let me clean this up, and I need to let you know we also have another problem with this overall farm and that is that the timings on our elevator have messed up slightly and so uh, this occasionally puts the minecart into the wall and that leads to suffocation damage so we're going to try and take care of that as well but let me clean up over here we need to cover over uh, we need to cover over this whole area and then make sure that everything is slabbed so that nobody is spawning so I will take care of that and then we'll take a look at the people elevator all right well here we go uh, yeah well, I hear a ghast and they just seem to be louder than hostile creatures actually should be anyway so you can see that this minecart is now embedded within the slime block and so I think I think it may just be that we can click that and increase the timing ever so slightly okay and then we can go back down here let's put our slab back like so leave it as we found it or better okay and we'll go back down and we'll see if we continue to have issues. Now, I'm not quite brave enough to jump in there just yet. So what we are going to do is hit this thing. Okay. Okay, that thing's coming back down. And let's send it on up. So I've got Optifine going, so I've got this cheaty zoom key going. And I'm going to just climb the ladder and see if the minecart is up top. If not, then 
I've got to figure out where it is on the tower. But I think, based on the testing I've done in my uh, in a map or a copy of this map, it should just be like two settings I have to change. But who knows? We shall see. We shall see. All right. Anyway, back in a bit. Well, this is wholly unexpected. I I figured I had one more setting to change in here, but no, nope. There's the minecart. It's up here. That's a good thing. It means that it's probably time for a little test. Oh, okay. This is for science, right? Science. Let me put away my stuff, and then we will do a little test. And if I should happen to lose my stuff, it's not a problem at all. Um, anything that I would not mind losing. Let's just put all this stuff in here for now leave a couple of ender pearls and a little bit of food okay water bucket doesn't actually help me much in here the reason i do this is that if i if i do happen to get uh, shoved into a wall then um what will happen is all the stuff will just splatter all over the place and I don't really want that to happen, okay? So we're gonna go like so. And again, this is for science. Let's just eat a little bit of steak. Find out soon enough. Excellent, excellent. So that is working and then the next order of business is to try out our, our our changes here. Let's just pop one of these guys. Okay. I've turned the farm back on, turned that timer on, so we should be getting items coming through. Yeah, do you see the items coming up? Okay, so that's working. Item elevator's going. This is a good thing. And then XP should be shooting through here soon. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The XP is continuing to come through. And since the timer is a little bit faster, it means that we're not going to have as many entities building up as we did before so with that timer where it was we were getting upwards of a thousand entities hanging out down there that brought the server to a crawl so we'll have to do we'll have to check that every now and then but hey uh, not too shabby not too shabby at all let's put this stuff away uh, for I don't wish to lose it and We'll just leave XP on the ground. That's fine. I'm going to pop back down here. And the only thing that remains to be done is taking all my stuff back to the witch farm perimeter. For that is where I pulled it all. So anyway, I gotta do some cleanup and and yeah. I consider this project a success. We have updated the gold farm once again, this time for 1.11. So, so yeah, and we fixed the people elevator or the player elevator. So not too shabby. Anyway, let me know what you think about today's episode and welcome to the new year. By the way, let's turn around here and just bid fond farewell. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Don't take it for granted, and I, I am very grateful for it. So anyway, thank you so much. If you enjoyed today's episode, think about hitting the like button. It helps me out more than you know. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.